Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today's video is going to be all about scrolling with JavaScript. So I'm going to be showing you three different things. Number one is going to be how to scroll an element into view. For example, this blue square here. We're going to see how we can use JavaScript to programmatically smooth scroll down to make it visible like this. The second thing is I'm going to be showing you uh, how to scroll to a specific uh, uh, place on the page by the uh, y axis. So if you say scroll to 200, it's going to scroll up or down till the page reaches about 200 pixels from the top. And the last thing is I'm going to be showing you how to scroll by a certain amount. For example, scroll down 150 pixels, it's going to scroll down that amount of pixels. So let's begin with the uh, most useful scenario, which of course is scrolling to an element. So uh, the the actual code for this page looks like this here. I've got the HTML, which is just a dummy text, and of course the square with the ID. In the JavaScript, we have just a simple reference to that square by saying document.getElementById. So I'm gonna be showing you all of this code inside the Chrome DevTools because I think it's going to be easier to uh, see what it's actually doing. So let's begin by grabbing onto the square right here and we're going to say dot scroll into view just like this without any arguments, press enter and we can see it is going to snap to that square. So that might be what you're after but if you want to make this a smooth scroll down, we can do so. Let's provide a argument and object just like this and we're going to say behavior is equal to smooth press enter and it does the exact same thing but this time of course you get that nice smooth animation now you can also uh, specify which part of the square should be visible uh, in terms of i guess uh you know relative to uh the scroll and so on. So it's going to be easy to explain this with an example, but just keep in mind that with this one, it scrolled and made the top of the square on the top of the page. So if I do it again, I can now provide a, a property called block and I'm going to make this now equal to end. Okay. Press enter this time. It's going to stop where the bottom of the square is at the bottom of the page. So maybe this is what you want instead. Okay. A really good one is going to be called center. So block equal to center, press enter. And now it's going to be centered with the page. So I think that one there is probably going to be a commonly used one. I might just clear the console here and show you the last uh, version, which is going to be uh, nearest, press enter. And it does the nearest. So that one there, because I started up here, it scrolled to the bottom of the page there. If I hop down here now and do it again, it goes to the top. So nearest is going to decide basically either uh, top or end or whatever it might be. I think it will start or end. It's going to decide um, which one to go for. So that is how you can yeah, scroll an element into view. Pretty, uh, pretty easy to do so. Uh, you know, as long as you have a reference to the element, um, just like this. So those, so that example used the element dot scroll into view. If you want to scroll to a certain position on the page that's going to be called on the window object so we're going to say here window this time window dot scroll to and we're going to be using a similar uh, argument to the scroll interview that we just saw so having an object here let's say i want to scroll to uh, 400 pixels down i would say top 400 so top here refers to essentially just the y-axis. So this one here. So top 400 and a behavior once again, like I was previously, of smooth. Press enter and it scrolls down to the 400 pixel mark. Let's make it 450 here just to further demonstrate this. 450 is going to make it go down a little bit more. So the point with this one is doesn't matter where you are on the page, it's always going to go to the same location. So you're setting the scroll position effectively, similar to saying window.scroll x or scroll y, which you may have seen and used before. So scroll y equal to 200. Oh, you can't actually change it. There you go. My mistake. I apologize. But uh, yeah, uh, you can scroll to using this. 
Fantastic. Uh, let's move forward now to the last one, which is going to be uh, scroll by. So we saw scroll to, now we're going to see scroll by. This just means, as the name suggests, uh, yeah, scroll by a certain amount of pixels. Let's say window.scroll by, provide an object once again, and we can say top for 50 behavior as smooth. Okay. And press enter, it goes down 50 pixels. Do it again, another 50. So this here is gonna be relative, okay? It doesn't matter, uh, sorry, this time it does matter where you are on the page, right? Because it's gonna be relative to your current position, um, whereas the previous one was more uh, setting that value as opposed to, yeah, scrolling by. Um, so just keep in mind that also in all these examples here, you have another property uh, called left. So if your page, it's gonna be quite unlikely, um, but if your page has a horizontal scroll bar, you can use left instead of top and it does the same thing. So if you wanna go left a certain amount of pixels uh, or not go left that amount of pixels, but instead increment that number by that amount, um, yeah, you can uh, provide a left here and also worth mentioning that you can provide negative values. For example, top negative 50 here, it's going to go up the negative 50 as opposed to, of course, increasing that value. So that is the scroll into view, scroll to and scroll by methods in JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.